Chicken here. So we just hit 2,000 subscribers, guys, and I wanted to thank everyone by doing a giveaway. So here's exactly what you have to do to be entered into the giveaway, guys. Uh, first, you have to follow me on Twitter. I want you to like and retweet this tweet here. And then, of course, subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't already. Um, hit the bell icon that shows up there. Apparently, like, that's good for getting notifications or something. I don't really understand how it works, but uh, apparently you need to do that. And, uh, and then I want you to comment down below with just some some sort of goofy, like, chicken hashtag that I'm always throwing out here. Uh, just get creative with it. Like, the, the goofier, the better. So thank you, everyone. And that's what you have to do. Uh, I'm going to do five giveaways. And what the giveaway actually is, is what I should have said before, is uh, it's, it's one of the boom tubes. And this is the thing that I did uh, an unboxing of, uh, but like a couple months ago or whatever. I'll have a link to uh, to that video in the description of this one, guys. So check that out. Do all that stuff if you're interested in the giveaway. Thanks, everyone. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. Brack, brack, brack. Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be taking on Gearhart War Factory. And unfortunately, I just pulled the chicken. I just recorded the whole thing, and I didn't hit the record button. So we're going to be going over the replays of how I did it, I guess. Um, so I hope that you're interested in doing the giveaway guys, um, like I said at the start of the video, we just did 2,000 subs, so really excited, and thank you to everyone, and I hope that you want to participate in it. Uh, like I said, you get the boom tube, and, um, all that stuff that's in it, you get the shirt, you get the cards, you get all that, all that fun stuff, so if you're interested in that, then definitely do all the stuff I said in the beginning of the video. And yeah, so, my plan was for Gearheart today, it's, it's a pretty tough layout, uh, I've got the, you got the rocket here, the doom cans in the back, the shock launchers, machine guns, all the laser beams. Uh, these rock launchers up here, the shock launcher down here, the lasers over here that aren't in range. I'm not sure why we're going over those, but um, yeah, I wanted to see if we could if we could just go for the go for the chicken solo right off the right off the start of this one. Um, probably a bad idea. Uh, the hot pots were just saying hello to the zookas there, um, so we we made it up to the top, and here's what happened, guys. Here's what happened. We'll speed it up a little bit, and then we got up here. And there's just too much stuff to shock. I was hoping that maybe we would get lucky with this, with these critters. And um, you see right there, the, I actually threw them down the wrong time. There's just way too much stuff in range. So uh, we got roast on the first attack, which was actually ended up being pretty dumb because um, there, there it was just like a pretty hard war factor. There's a lot of stuff that needed to be GB down um, out of the way. So the next one we just did a couple GB attacks. Uh, we took down this rocket launcher on this attack. And then I think that's all we did. Uh, and then we started damaging the ones up top there. So anything that just saves us a shock, more or less, is what we were what we were getting out of the way here. And then I was getting pretty nervous at this point because I hadn't actually... Um, um, because I felt like there was still going to be a lot left. Um, and since we waste, basically wasted the first attack, there was going to be a lot of stuff uh, left standing um to, to actually finish out uh war factory so we we're able to take down those rocket launchers there up top so we're saving a couple shocks here and there um i think next i decided to go on the uh, i took out on my last attack i took out the shock launcher uh that was just right up top here and then that was basically it um i think i did the flamethrower too actually once i was finished um so yeah we just took out the shock launcher and then i think i threw the rest of the gb down yeah onto the flamethrower and onto the hq and um yeah, just to get some extra damage on the HQ. The the, the flamethrower was going to be within what I was, sh what I was shocking anyways, so it didn't really matter. Um, all right, and then uh, here's the last time. Here's the last time. We'll play this in normal speed here. Um, so I wasn't planning on it, but the way I put my Zookas down, I was actually able to take out this crate, which was kind of good, I guess. Uh, some free GB on the way. Um, it, I would say not to follow this flare line that I used because I kept getting so close. Those friggin' hot pots. Um, I think usually you just flare once all the way to the back, right? And then it's fine. Um, rather than doing it in two flare spots. It's just, when when I have the extra GB for it, then it's just an easier way of doing it for me. Um, so there we go. We got the double smokes down onto the HQ, guys. And then um, we only had a few things left to shock at this point, I guess. Uh, this laser was the most annoying because it needed a shock and there was nothing else uh, around it that uh, that I was going sh that I could uh, shock with it. So uh, fairly easy at this point, I guess. Um, I'm not sure why, but I was just super nervous about doing this attack. I thought it was just gonna go horribly wrong. I felt like I was gonna fail the whole way through, but uh, we ended up making it. We ended up making it, guys. Uh, so there's the war factory for today. And then afterwards, we did a bit of a chicken zuka hit and we got a crystal for it, which was pretty exciting. Um, so I guess we'll just quickly go into this. The guy only had one ice. Um, 
unfortunately, so I guess it's not that uh, that great of an attack, but it was in the video, so we're going to be showing this one anyways. Back, back, back. Uh, so we double smoked onto the HQ, and then we threw some critters out, a couple shocks, and I think I hit it in one shot, so um, pretty underleveled. So we'll actually do a live hit now that we're actually freaking recording, and we'll see what we can get done. Let's go ahead and find a new opponent here. Frito. We'll just attack him blind, guys. Just blind. No looking, no scouting. Okay, boost to dice with shield Janet at the back of the base. That's what I want, chicken. That's what I want. Um. Hmm. This would be a good base for um, trying out the reverse Zuka. But he's got so there's there's no way. There's the I don't feel comfortable doing that one whatsoever with the reverse Zuka because there's just it's too much of a walk, there's too many mines, there's too much ice. This one looks better. This one looks better. Okay. Um, Alright, so we'll take out this flamethrower. And then we got all of these um, ice statues here. And, okay. Alright, so we'll take out that. And then we'll go ahead and take out this stuff. So yeah, I did see Crazy Turtle's video yesterday. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, hopefully we can actually do that uh, that challenge relatively soon. I know with, with Mr. Uh, with Mr. Tortoise, it'll probably be around like 2019 before we ever actually do the, the challenge and get the video and stuff all all together, but uh, regardless of what happens, it's going to be a lot of fun, so definitely looking forward to that. Um, okay. Alright, so we're just... We let the shock launcher hit us there just to um, just to wake the Zookas up a little bit. You know, they, they fire a little faster when they're scared. Okay, I guess they don't... They don't hit the flag once they've been shocked. I d didn't know that. I was waiting for them to move up, and they weren't doing anything, so... Um, hmm... This is not going well, guys. This is not going well. Alright, so what do we got to do here to finish this out, chicken? Uh, we'll throw some critters there. Back, back, back. Um, can we finish this out, guys? Can we finish this out? Uh, doesn't look like we're going to have the... It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Um, okay, alright. So there's the chicken fail for the day, guys. Um, that's going to wrap it up for the video today, I guess. Um, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Uh, do all the stuff in the beginning of the video if you want to be entered in the into the giveaway. There's going to be five of those given away, guys. So make sure you do that if you're interested in, uh, in doing that. And that's going to wrap it up for the video today. We'll see you in the next one. Check it out.